Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we're taking a look at Deadpool for Marvel Crisis Protocol with the Deadpool and Bob Agent of Hydra expansion. This is a little bit more of an expensive expansion for Marvel Crisis Protocol because it's not just Deadpool, but it's also Bob, Agent of Hydra, and his chimichanga truck. So we're getting a terrain piece with this whole set and a whole lot of different options for Deadpool as well. Here's the back of the box if you're interested. Um, yeah, so, so we're going to take a look at this. Uh, I'll put these together too so you can see the completed miniatures as well. And we'll look at all the cards and everything else that comes in here. Uh, very, very exciting. I have not paid a whole lot of attention to uh, like spoilers for this, so I don't really know um, if the, uh, uh, you know, like what all cards are going to come with Deadpool and Bob and what uh, if, you know, if the chimichanga truck is just like part of uh you know an objective or something like that or if it's just a just a fun terrain piece also so a lot of sprues here look at this we got a whole big old bag of sprues which is pretty cool it's not bad we got our sorry so we've got our bases first and foremost we've got a standard you know four small base set we've got our uh wow bob has just one sprue so uh bob looks pretty pretty straightforward um, he is, uh, a, he, what, a reformed Hydra agent? Um, we've got, oh man, we've got Deadpool. Is this, is this all of Deadpool? Man, well, look at this. we got the, we got the big old base there. We've got the whoosh. We've got a lot of different ways to build Deadpool, which is also pretty exciting. So that'll be a fun one. Um, I don't know if I'm, because I'm not into magnetizing, right? So, uh, I, I don't magnetize little bits like that. So I'm curious how this is going to go. All right. What is, what is going on here? So look at this. we got, look at all these, these tacos. Are we getting, we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tacos there. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, double tacos. There's a lot of tacos. You have a whole sprue of tacos. What is going on with that? Okay. All right. So Deadpool has a whole sprue of tacos. Um, so we're getting some funny stuff. All right. So we've got the, the chimichanga truck right there. Um, I thought it was going to be a whole bunch of little pieces. All right. So this tr the truck isn't actually that bad. We've got the front and the back right there. Um, we've got the sides the underneath. And, uh, and and there's not too much to it. So so that shouldn't, whoop, that shouldn't be too hard to put together. Um, very cool. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got our instruction booklet here. Uh, we've got our assembly guide here. These are all optional things. You know, you got alternate torso, a lot of alternate heads, uh, alternate foosh. Um, and then Bob can go with the, the regular head or the chef's hat head. Oh, that's a tough one for me. I, I feel like I want to go with a regular one. Um, you know, but who knows? Maybe we'll go a little crazy. And then we've got we've got our cardboard here and, and our token. What, what kind of cardboard do we have here? Oh, are these X Force uh, tokens? Cool. All right, let's take a closer look at the uh, the the cards. All right, so uh, first we're gonna look at the Deadpool character card. He's a three cost character, height two, medium movement, three three four. So he's pretty resistant to um, mental and magical, mystical attacks, uh, but he's only got four health. Uh, it's okay. It's, it gets better, you know. For um, so he's got his uh, his normal stab, which is just a normal power builder. He's got bang. Bang is interesting. It's um, it's a little bit less dice, but a little bit longer range. But it can trigger bang bang if it rolls a wild and a hit. And if it rolls a wild and two hits on the bang bang attack, it can trigger bang bang bang. So he can potentially ma uh, make this attack up to three times if uh, if his, if he you know continues to roll well. Which I think that's pretty cool. It's gonna be tricky to, to roll that bang 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 with only four dice, but he's got I know karate, which will help him, uh, you know, help him roll. I think he would be a, more of a Cobra Kai kind of guy, to be honest. Um, he's got the uh, duodenum poke. Uh, it's a uh, cost three power, six uh, six attack dice. If it deals damage uh, after it, the attack uh, is resolved, they gain the bleed and slow special conditions as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, he's a merc with a mouth. I think this is one of the more interesting things that he's got is that he can basically take away other people's power, um, which is particularly nasty. Um, 
He's got the I Know Karate. He gets a reroll for all of his attack and defense rolls, which is good. Uh, and he's got unicorns, rainbows, and sugar plums dancing through his head, uh, which means he can't be pushed or advanced by effects from uh, mystic attacks or enemy superpowers. So people are going to have a much harder time trying to uh, knock him off of objectives and things like that. And of course, he's got the healing factor too, which means he's going to heal too at the end of his activation. So even though he only has four health, uh, he should be kind of easy to keep healthy. However, once he's wounded, he actually has quite a few changes. He's going to uh, lose the duo denim pike um, or poke or whatever. He's, uh, he's going to get up to six health now. He saw a stab and bang, but now he gives maximum effort, uh, which is a four power ability, um, seven dice, and has the dance party uh, keyword, uh, and basically that'll let him move and uh, deal the damage to everybody and gain a power to everybody uh, that's within two of him, so he can move in and kind of slice everybody with his blades because he's getting annoyed. Uh, he's still got smirk with the mouth. He's got, all right, now it's serious. He's going to always count as healthy uh, for purposes of uh, contesting objectives. Still has I know Karate, Unicorns, and Rainbows, and uh, the healing factor right there. Next up is Bob, the agent of Hydra. He's only at two cost, which is appropriate. Um, he's only got three health, medium height, two, uh, two, two, two for defense. So he's very much kind of, uh, in a lot of ways, just kind of a, a henchman type character. This is kind of our closest look to what a, a henchman might be. He's just got the regular Hydra pistol, but he does have excessive violence. I think this is pretty cool, for, especially for a two cost character. He has um, a nine attack die ability for a two cost character he can only make this attack once but um <laughs> but that's pretty amazing so uh yeah yeah so he can really only make this attack once he can potentially reload though so that's cool um so this character may choose this attack only if it has a loaded token after the attack is resolved this character loses all loaded tokens it has before damage is dealt all other characters within two of the target suffer two damage which is pretty cool. So you want to shoot at somebody far away. You're shooting a rocket launcher, a really big boom. Um, and in addition to any kind of attack roll, before any damage is dealt, everybody's going to suffer too. And then before damage is dealt, this character is thrown away from the target character uh, short range. The throw is resolved by the player controlling the target character. Then if this character does not have a dazed token, it suffers three damage. Since he's only got three health, Basically, this is a suicide attack, which I, hey, I'm okay with that. It's a, it's a suicide attack. Um, he's got Hydra tactics. You can choose a another allied character within two of this character. Place the character within one of the chosen character. Um, and he's got make it so, Bob. As an action, he can gain a loaded token. So if for whatever reason you lose your loaded token, he's gonna have to try and get some power to try to reload this thing, and. Uh, uh, and Moy Caliente, he starts with a loaded token at the beginning of the game. So, um, I mean, it's a great, it's a one shot. It's two points for one big attack. But then he's going to flip over. He's going to flip over. Oh, and, and this is where it gets really interesting. Still three, three, uh, <laughs> three attack. Um, he's got the Hydra tactic still. He's still got make it, make it spicy, Bob. Uh, but he's got, and he's still got Moy Caliente, but he, he's got, but how? If this character does not have an activated token and would be KO'd by having uh, damage wound tokens placed on it, it gains a dazed token instead. During the cleanup phase, when you would normally flip this character's card as a result of dazed tokens, it remains on its injured side and this character loses three, uh, you know, loses three power. So, uh... If at any time this character uh, the only, is the only character you control, you lose the game. So you can't, uh, um, you know, like you can't. He can't be your last character. But basically, he can. He can potentially. If, if somebody tries to kill him before he gets to shoot, um, you know, not if they daze him. Daze him just flipping over. If they try to kill him before he gets to shoot, he's he gets to kind of he gets like one more turn. Like he miraculously survives, which is I think pretty cool. Um, it'd be hard for him to, to shoot twice, though, you know, because he'll, he'll still lose three power. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. We've got some other cards here. Let's uh, take a look at We've got uh, Chimichangas. Um, this one is for Deadpool. Uh, he can spend a power to play this card and add a Chimichanga objective uh, token to, to Deadpool. Um, 
he's holding this token. At the end of the character's activation, if it's holding a chimichanga token, it gains a power and may remove a wound or one special condition. Any character may use the following interactability, pick up, uh, interact, pick up a chimichanga token. So that's just pretty, pretty clever. I like it for, I mean, for only one point, that's actually a really good card. Uh, a pretty sneaky sis. Uh, during the power phase, any number of allied X-Force characters can may spend two to play this card. Enemy characters must be within two of the characters that spent the power to target them with this attack this round. And Yoink! This one does a whole lot of things. Play uh, During Deadpool's activation, he may spend two power to play one, uh, or to play this card. Select one of the following effects. Uh, with If you have Cable, you can place Deadpool within two of his current position uh, nearby. If you have uh, Ally Domino, you can place Deadpool, may use the grenade, uh, or ra rather, um, Deadpool may use the grenade bounce attack listed on her stat card once this activation without paying its power cost, so he can steal her grenade and throw it. If Wolverine was holding an objective token, uh, Deadpool's going to take you. Uh, it doesn't let him go kind of go over his cap. Uh, and then uh, if if an uh, enemy Bob is on the board, you can take his loaded uh, token. So he's uh, he's not going to have... Uh, so you can basically steal Bob's ammo if Bob is on the other team, which is pretty interesting. Now let's go ahead and try and put these together. All right, so we've got everybody put together right here. Um, I haven't glued Deadpool into this yet because I might want to paint them separately and then glue it in afterwards. But he still dry fits in there pretty good. Um, we had a lot of options. There was a whole other torso option, lots of different head options, even a leg option if you wanted to put one leg backward or kind of going forward more, which I thought was pretty fun. Um, uh, we have the, I will say this, this little whoosh is really um, gentle or, or delicate right here. So be really careful when cutting that out and like trimming, uh, cleaning that up because that could break real easy. Uh, I did went with, uh, I went with Bob uh with the chef's hat on because hey if he's gonna be silly let's let's be all the way silly um and uh and here is the the taco truck or chimichanga truck or whatever you want it to be um looks it's pretty good i mean it's a big piece it's a and it's got the three on the bottom so it's a size three piece it's uh that's pretty cool it's really cool that they're giving you a lot of stuff um and there's uh, there's uh, there's so many extra pieces all right we've got all these extra tacos you can do so much with this and you can put some, obviously you can put like a tray or something like that here on there. Um, you could put them on other characters' bases. You can do, like they give you enough here to do a lot of stuff with. And, it, and that's another thing, was they, since they give you so many extra heads um, I, and, and I had a whole extra torso and one leg, um, I got a little secret for you. I, I, I made a whole second Deadpool with uh, cutting out extra bits of the sprue. So we have a whole another Deadpool that you can assemble uh, in addition. If you don't mind substituting uh, some of the limbs that we don't have duplicates for, for bits of sprue, right? Like It's like, like a building came down and he kind of, his healing factor got kind of mixed with like the girders. And this is even, he's even got the coffee cup there attached to his hand. He's so happy. He's, he's just happy to be alive. He's like, I made it. I'm alive. I'm alive. And, 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 and you know, maybe this is, a better candidate for the whoosh to go on, right? Just because you can have a whole separate Deadpool. You can have two. You can have two, if you don't mind doing a little bit of just clipping some sprues and uh, and, and 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 substituting them for arms and and legs and, and and that sort of thing. So you can you can you too can make your own miniatures. All right, guys, uh, this has been Deadpool and Bob, the Agent of Hydra, uh, expansion, unboxing, and uh, we put them all together. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. There's still time left to enter to win the giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. I will talk to you guys soon, and as always, have a great day.